The bell beaker culture, which emerged around 2800 years before the Common Era and persisted until 1800 years before the Common Era, is notable for its distinct pottery, burial practices, and wide-ranging genetic influence across Europe. The bell beakers are best known for their characteristic pottery, bell-shaped vessels decorated with geometric patterns. These pots were often used in ceremonial context, reflecting the symbolic and social significance of the vessels in their society. In addition to pottery, the bell beakers were skilled metal workers, particularly in copper and bronze, signaling their participation in the emerging Bronze Age trade networks. Their material culture also included weapons, such as daggers and arrowheads, which indicate a warrior or elite class. Genetically, the bell beakers carried from 30 to 50% Western steppe herder or Yamnaya ancestry, and the rest of their ancestry was local farmer derived. The bell beakers ended up completely replacing the indigenous farmers in Britain and Western Europe. Their burial practices typically involved single graves, often in crouched or fetal positions, with the dead buried alongside their distinctive pottery and personal items like metal tools and ornaments. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of 37 bell beakers from Britain, Germany, Czechia, and France from a study called The Beaker Phenomenon and the Genomic Transformation of Northwest Europe and ran their DNA files through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The most common predicted phenotypes were Nordic and Mediterranean, although stranded and alpinid phenotypes were also present. One sample scored a Vulgid phenotype, and one sample scored a Melanesian phenotype as its closest phenotype. The sample that scored Melanesian was low quality. Two samples scored a Pamarid phenotype as their closest phenotype. Here is the morph of the average phenotype. All of these taken into account, except Melanesian. The most common predicted eye color among the samples was brown, but a large portion of the samples had lighter eye colors such as blue, blue with amber center, and green as well. The most common predicted hair color among the samples were black, dark blonde, and dark brown. Interestingly, no samples scored red hair as their predicted hair color. The most common predicted skin color among the samples was olive, although white skin and light brown skin was also quite frequent among the samples studied. Two samples were predicted to have paler skin tone. The most common predicted hair texture among the samples was straight, although curly and wavy hair was also fairly common. For samples were predicted to have kinky hair texture. Greek and snub nose shapes were roughly equally common among the bell beaker samples, but Greek noses were a bit more common. 19 samples were predicted to be shorter than average, and 18 samples were predicted to be taller than average. So the typical, or the most common, bell beaker is of average height, with brown eyes and straight dark brown hair, olive skin, and a Greek-shaped nose. The bell beaker sampled had a predisposition to slower dopamine reuptake, higher dopamine levels, and lower stress tolerance, known as the warrior phenotype. The bell beaker sampled also had a predisposition to lower availability of D2 receptors, which is good as it leads to decreased odds of schizophrenia and bipolar and related conditions. The 37 samples had a slightly below average predisposition to bipolar type 1 overall. The bell beaker samples had a strong predisposition to autism, and only one out of 37 was predicted to be lactase persistent. The bell beaker samples had an average predisposition to empathy based on OXDR genotypes. The bell beaker samples had a predisposition to average levels of homocysteine and lower odds of cardiovascular issues, which is good. The distribution of ACTN3 or 577X genotypes in bell beakers was very similar to European average suggesting that their predisposition to athleticism and sprinting was typical and comparable to modern Europeans. The bell beakers had higher odds of epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotype and lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotype, although a couple of them did score high for multiple sclerosis risk, suggesting they carried risk variants for multiple sclerosis in HLA DRB1. These risk variants are much more common in modern Northern Europeans than elsewhere in the world. The bell beakers were strongly predisposed to type 1 diabetes, which is another autoimmune condition very common in Northern Europeans, although unlike multiple sclerosis, it isn't so exclusive to Europe. The bell beakers also had a moderately high predisposition to rheumatoid arthritis. The bell beakers were predisposed to a higher level of LDL cholesterol, which is bad, higher levels of vitamin D, which is good, 
and higher levels of glucose, which is also bad. Two of the 37 bell beakers likely had hemochromatosis based on very elevated predicted iron levels. The bell beakers were predisposed to average telomere lengths, predisposing them to average length of lifespan. They had a predisposition to a slightly lower than average odds of obesity and average odds of syncope, which is temporary loss of consciousness due to a loss of blood flow to the brain. The most common blood type among the 37 bell beakers was type O, followed by type A, although two samples also scored blood type B. No sample scored blood type AB as their predicted blood group. Thanks for watching until the end. Links to research data as well as data needed to replicate this study will be in the description of this video.